Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Kevin Tomasetti, founder of Cigar Padium. Today I'm here to bring you a review of the Adventura, the Explorer Cigar. This is our torpedo size, it's a 6x52. We're going to sit down, smoke through this beautiful cigar, give you a few thoughts, and let you know how it smokes. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So we're here with the Adventura, the Explorer. We're going to cut it up, light it up, see how it smokes. Off the initial light off. We're getting some notes of some steady brown leather. It's adding like a little bit of charcoalness to it though. It's got a little bit of uh, rigidity, spiciness to it. Yeah, definitely some uh, rigid cedar spiciness accompanying that brown leather. But it's not intense, it's not overwhelming at, at this point. Mm. But it's hearty. It's a hearty smoke, medium flavors. Um, can't really pinpoint the intensity of it at the moment, but it's right around the medium range. It's got a really, really nice looking wrapper to it. I mean, that's just a solid medium brown color to it. Really nice to look at. Contrasts well with the band. Here we are into the first third of the Adventura, the Explorer Torpedo. Smoking really, really well. Effortless draw, effortless draw. And it accompanies this very, very well because you get plenty of smoke production and the flavor is just so present. It's beautiful. Now, some people have different preferred methods on cutting torpedo cigars. I personally like to take the angled cut approach to it. So you take a straight cutter, like that rather than going straight across just give about a 45 degree angle clip it right there what that does is it actually gives you a little bit more surface area so you can pull a little bit more smoke through and get a little bit more smoke production out of it as opposed to just going straight across it's just a personal preference thing of mine but I thought I'd share it with you guys in case you wanted to try it out this cigar like I was saying earlier smoking really really well we're picking up tones of medium brown leathers some brown sugar a little bit of tart cedarness to it with just a little bit of accent spice to it. Nothing overwhelming, very well balanced in the medium body and very, very smooth. I mean, you can see the color of this wrapper, how kind of light brown it is. I mean, that flavor is equal to that. Very, very smooth based on that brown leather. Absolutely blends all this flavors very well together. So the first third is smoking very, very well. We're gonna keep puffing through it. Get into the second third give you some more thoughts. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, we're back in the second third of the Adventura, the Explorer Torpedo. 
The unfortunately just lost our ash, but it was going on there pretty well. I mean, we're pretty much halfway through the cigar here, well into the second third. And we've actually picked up quite a good bill of developments since the initial first third that we left off in. What we got is a little bit more spicy intensity uh, nearing the end of the first third. That added a little bit of coco cocoa-ness, a little bit of chocolatiness to the leather that we were experiencing. And all of that, now that we've entered the midway point of the second third, has developed into more of a graham crackery coffee that has a little bit of a peanut twist to it. So you get a little bit of sweetness in those lighter tones, but you still get a little bit of underlying darker kind of cocoa-ness to it. Really, really nice complexity that it added. I mean, definitely a great dynamic smoke. Uh, the Adventure Cigar by Henderson Ventura. Uh, part of their uh, experience is the adventure of smoking cigars, hence the Adventura part. And so this cigar definitely represents that quite well, being the uh, flavor experiences that we've already had. Looking forward to getting through to the last of the second third and the final third. Keep you posted on that. We'll take a look at the box right now. Really, really nice, nicely designed box. As you can see there, the Adventura, nice little treasure chest looking. Open up the latch, and boom, beautiful looking cigars right there. Really nice. Here's the front of the box to you, the side. And what we get inside, it's a cool little map. So we're going to take a look at this map right now. Gonna slide off the band here. And there we go. The Aventura, the Explorer. And on the back here, we've got a nice little summary of the uh, cigar and the back history. Really cool little addition they add to their boxes. I really like this. It's a nice surprise when I open it up. You guys would really appreciate this too. So like I was saying, the uh, owner of this company, Henderson Ventura, makes some brilliant, brilliant cigars. This blend here is composed of a Ecuadorian Mexican wrapper. We've got a Ecuadorian Sumatran binder. And for filler, we have Dominican and Ecuadorian tobaccos in the filler. Makes for a very nice, dynamic cigar. We've already been experiencing some of that earlier on. We're we'll getting through this last third right now. As you can see earlier, the ash was very strong, held on for almost half the cigar. We're going to keep smoking it, get into this final third, and uh, sum it up and give you some final thoughts. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us to the review. We're now down in the final third of the Adventura, the Explore Torpedo Cigar. We've had a phenomenal time smoking this cigar. We had a lot of good dynamic flavor changes throughout the profile. It's been a beautiful time smoking this, an adventure some might say. Um, really had a great time exploring what the flavors have to offer this cigar. We start off in the first third with some good cedar notes to it, a little bit of a light spice with some uh, darker kind of leather tones to it, a little bit of cocoa development to it. Then transition to a more kind of sweet graham cracker, a little bit of uh, sweet peanut notes to it, still maintaining that kind of leather base. And then in the final third here, we've got definitely a solid leather, medium brown leather cigar, a little bit of floral notes to it, a little bit of spice remaining, adds a nice kind of texture to the smoke. Overall, it's kind of a more of a creamy with a little bit of a, a little bit of spice texture to the, uh, to the smoke overall. It's been a great cigar. Give you one more peek at the band here and at this really cool map that they, that they include. Really nice. You guys can check them out at CigarPDM.com. We recommend trying them out with the Freedom Sampler. Create your own cigar sampler with the Freedom Sampler. It's a great product. You guys want to check it out. You can get this cigar and many others for under MSRP. It's the best value you can find out there right now. Check them out at CigarPDM.com. You can also pick it up in a 5-pack, 10-pack, or a box if you'd like. Boxes get this nice, nice map. So once again, thanks for sticking with us to the review. More to come, more great cigar reviews to come. So subscribe to our channel, Cigar PDM. 
and uh, stay tuned for some more great, great cigars. Thanks for sticking with us. Again, I'm Kevin Tomasetti with Cigar Padilla. Experience life one cigar at a time and stay smoky.